Manjali, I'm from Mauritius and I've just reached here one month back. Um, I was working in the banking sector for the past 10 years and uh, I've decided to change my journey and have thought about migrating to some other land. I was not sure to which destination I should be going and I fell on a few videos from uh, AJV and it was like the eye-opening um, thing. So after having watched all the videos which were there and I said let me um, connect to AJV's team and I just um, sent a message so Shaizia from Mumbai contacted me and she did all the due diligence in terms of telling me what documents I'll, I'll have to submit for them to do a pre-assessment to see whether I'll be eligible to come as a student um, to New Zealand. I have 20 years of working experience in my country and uh, coming to New Zealand starting again as being a student was quite a hard decision. Ideally, I would have loved it like to come immediately to land in this country and start working immediately. That would have been the ideal scenario. It's quite difficult for someone to come from another country with all their skills and to start working immediately in this country. I still thought that it's going to be a good start for me if I go through the student life take a break from all these um, working years and try to realign myself. So choosing to come through the, education, through the education way means that you're going to make yourself employable eventually. So it becomes very easy for you to integrate within the workforce. So I'm doing a postgrad diploma in applied management. I feel that this course is perfect for um, professionals to fine tune whatever expertise, whatever line of business in which they were working earlier. That course really gives you the necessary skills if you want to integrate into the business world out here. And what's interesting about the postgrad diploma out here is that it's more of a self-learning. You're going to school only for a couple of hours per week, but there is lots of work to be done on your own, lots of research which you have to be have to be done lots of assignments that you'll have to submit and attendance is key. The good thing is that you don't have any hard exams for you to sit but I think it's, it's, very, it's very flexible in the sense that assignments give you lots of times for you to, to do your, the research on your own and there are so much of material available online. So I think um, that self-learning gives international students lots of independence in the way that we tend to formulate our own thinking. What I really appreciated with AGV's team is that they are, um, they are very prompt. They come back to you promptly and they give you the precise information. It's a very um, well-defined process that they have devised to help foreigners like us to come to, to this country. It's not only prior to coming here, but when I landed also, Someone connected to me, Virginia contacted me, Mary also contacted me, be it through email, and they wanted to have my local contact number so that they, can, they could connect with me to see whether I have got my accommodation, whether I've been able to go to school, whether everything is smooth for me. And they've been conducting um, an event also whereby they have called everyone based in Auckland. And it was a good networking session whereby we could meet other um, AGV's clients, other students. Life becomes easier at the end of the day. What's interesting is that there are many migrants out here. And uh, the, the good thing is that it shows that the, this country accepts international people, accepts non-citizens, and it's an open environment, it's an open economy, and they, they have this level of acceptance, which is wonderful. When I graduate from the postgrad diploma, Employability will not only be like assured in this country, but even if I go elsewhere in the world, I think the New Zealand qualification is something which is going to be recognized throughout the world. It's a world standard. I'd like to set up my own company here eventually, and I'd like to invite international motivational speakers from all over, all over the world to come here and share their knowledge. But first of all, I have to finish my uh, postgrad diploma and start working for some other companies and build 
a certain level of you know <laughs> funds whereby I can launch my own like a business eventually.